Welcome back, this is um, turn 4, part 2. We're going to start playing now, Axis, 17th of December 1944, at 6 o'clock in the morning, so first light, basically. And um, we are going to start in the south, where we previously had the night turn and, and so on. Now we're going to move the 7th army and we have these guys down here let me start by setting this thing up as well here here we go so we have missed uh weather wise here so that's uh reduced visibility obviously and um, i can see that these guys are hardly in or they have like poor have some problems with the supply let me have a look at that makes me curious i mean they're all in green so it looks good but i don't know why they actually are yellow there but anyway so the plan here for the two twelves is to go down here take givinch i think we're done here because these guys are going to solve this anyway and um, move the 212 as well, uh, this one, the Fusilier, uh, down here as well. I'm going to go and take a look of uh, what's around here. I do see one unit down here, but I'll start like this and we'll see what we can see. So now we have arrived at Givin uh, Givenish, Givenish. So the question is whether I should just go in here or not. I can not see a whole lot around here anyway. We have like 33 there, 15. I think this is just ripe for the taking. So I can just, I can also bring this guy over here, but I'd actually rather, I think, march him if possible. So I'm gonna, well, maybe that's not possible. No, that's not important. I would like to see a little bit more here, but I can see that I won't be able to, so I'm just going to take the chance. Nope. That was... Um, but that's interesting. We do have... Uh, let's see if it's possible. Nope. But we can go in here, though. Let's see here. That's plain, so we want to go into the light forest anyway. And... These guys probably go here anyway let's do that so here we have an artillery unit at least so that's not uninterest uninteresting here so that's that's good to know in a minus city we'll see what we can do with this one sadly we aren't, might actually get hits here but we'll see what happens we have um readiness of 68 and 71 so that's a bit difficult all right we have fields 47 recon 51 fields and a large tank unit let's take a look at this one if we were to attack this guy here we are already here at like nice 41 or a 4 to 1 or something like that. So that's not bad. We can also bring up troops. Units rather like this, which we probably want to do. How about this guy here? Attacking like that and like that, that's only 1 to 1. We can probably bring these troops up here as well. So that's also not bad. We're going to do that straight away because we want to get more. So we have 52 right now, which is not bad. We are, unfortunately, we're attacking from, from uh, a height of zero down here and here as well. This one could move up here, but that, oh no, that's 92. We will have a concentric attack, which is good. We uh, should really try and uh, attack this one with ranged fire. We are going to use a card. Let me just, see here that's not bad that's not bad either 
and this one is good as well. So we do have some interesting things like this one, this one, and let's see if there's hiding anyone here. Yeah, exactly. Let's bring that one forward as well. And then we have nothing in here. Okay. So we could use, we're not going to use on uh, anyone on this one, but we will use these four maybe on this one. How about that one? What can it reach? Several things, even over here. So I'll be cautious of using that one. I'll start with these guys here. And then this one can only hit these three. And I don't, I'm not sure, maybe this one is a good idea actually. It's quite all right. Let me see here. I could go down here and use a card and then be ready to hit this one. Or I could keep on moving. Because this one, let's have a look. I mean, you can already see here that there is no supply coming through. So what happened there? Okay. So yeah, there's no coming, supply coming down uh, through here. So, uh, I mean, he's probably gonna, I don't know, try to move through maybe, I don't know. So, question is whether it would be actually okay to hit this guy. What do we have? We have 29, we're in plains snow. I should be able to see him if I walk down here. But how much does that cost? 30. Yeah, that's going to be. But this would be even better. But it costs 40. So we're going to go for this one. Okay, so now we do actually see something. Let's check this guy out like that. That's not bad. Right? And. Firing this one might be of interest like that, you know? All right, so let's start with these guys hitting this one here. That one, let's check these guys out here. That's two, 209, so let's say 200. This one is 200 as well. And this one is 200 as well. If we add them together, what happens then? That's almost 400 and this one, okay, yep. Yeah. Makes sense. Let's go for this. And no, 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 no. <laughs> and card. That's right. So let's see here, just to make sure here. <laughs> yep, definitely. And which one is able to see best? I don't think there is a difference. 25. It's just 25 all over, isn't it? Yeah. So I'd probably want to use this one because I could see some or I think there. So let's go for that. Yeah. We can't play card onto the engineer and play. Okay, so he's actually not 43, he's more of 41. He's dug in, I can see that entrenched. Okay. Well, anyway, let's, uh, so now we have recon of 55 or 59. We go that one, we go that one, and we go, let's see where it's at, up there. That's 600, let's fire. Okay, not terrible. Got rid of some engineers. So, uh, that's good. And let's see what we can do now. Let's see which one is strongest here. That's one to four, one to four. It's not great. One to two and one to three, four. Okay. That's not terrible. Let's go for this and a regular attack. Okay, we lost 50, they lost like 70. 
not great, but um, we got them to move. I don't know if that was good or not, but um, let's see if we can pursue him here. This guy can move in here, which I think we will. This one is... Yeah, he's only got one here. Is that necessary? He's gonna... Well, he's not on the road anyway, so... Let's move him in here as well then. And this guy, we will move in here to be able to attack. Alright, let's... Uh, we don't have anything to attack with, pretty much. Regular attack. That's two to one. That's hardly enough. Is it? It doesn't feel like it's enough at all. What if I, it's a light forest. No, I think I'm going to leave it at that, and then um, we'll see. This guy could move up here, which he will. This guy could also do that, which he will. Because we want to fight at the same level here. Alright, that's not bad. Let's see here. I mean, we can fire, though. How about that? That's it, we're done there. Let's have a look at this guy then. We will move, or maybe I should have actually kept that one, the engineer there. I can actually move these guys up here. That's only cost 22. Oh, we'll see. This guy moves up here anyway. This guy moves up here as well. But these guys. Not sure. We'll see. We'll uh, see what happens here if we add these guys together. Six to one, and finally seven to one. I like these odds. They are very nice. Let's uh, attack. <coughs> so we have lots of units here, and uh, let's see. Nice. That's very nice. 11. We lost 11, but they lost lots of tanks. So half of them are gone and we kicked them out from there. They're not entrenched. They are not re no great readiness either. So we can just move up here. Who cost is zero. Who cost is zero. This guy could move in here, which they want. That's lovely. It will crush this guy, I think. Let's keep on fighting because, you know, because we can. It's not make much big of a difference there, but let's attack again. Oh, look at that. Totally destroyed. Look at the graphic here. So we have uh, capitula capitulation simply. Excellent. Gone. That's fantastic. And we can move up here as well then. Can we? Maybe someone can? Nope. That's going to cost four. Moving over here. No, oh, one could actually move there. Not bad. Okay. And that's good. Now, let's see here. We can move this stug here. And it seems like we've had traffic here. And I'm not sure where to go. Because moving up there is 24, that's 10. But this is a heavy forest. And someone might actually be waiting there could go over here and have a look at this square here or this hex here that's 36 there's probably no, no one waiting there but no one can move up 
Oh, this one can move up, so he will. We want as much eyes on as we possibly can. That's only weak on one. Okay, so <clears throat> these guys can move one, have a look, or we can move out over here. This is 21 out of 44, uh, out of four. I mean, <clears throat> he could also be standing here. Let's go this way first, and then I can move over there. If I want to. Okay, let's see here. We see nothing. 15, 28. I'm going to actually assume that he's in here. And that it would be more wiser to move in here. I have 32 left movement points would cost me 24. This is in fields. This is in fields. I think this is a better option to go for. And I see nothing. <laughs> well, that's the difficulty. Probably going to have to choose something later on. Anyway, this has been great. We have a contingency here moving up here which is what we wanted to do. We are going towards Junglinster here, but uh, yeah, we're going to see how far we actually get. This one could actually move up. Which we want to do. No one else could. Okay, fine. That's good. Now, what do we have here? These are the purple ones. These are the gray ones. Let's see here. We had a city here, right? No here. So let's go up to Lauterborn. There we go. And these ones have moved this. We still have this one, which is good to fire against this one. For example, we have only recon 39 there, but these ones have, oh, this one haven't, hasn't been used either. Mm -hmm. So we could really fire a lot on this one. So now I might have should have maybe gone for that one a little bit more, but yeah, it's going to be, have to be an turn. This is anyway in fields, so I have to make a choice here whether to use a card here, which I think I really should. This is like four or five. I need to move over here, but really needs to go over here. Could hit this one. This one is going to have to move anyway. Let's see here then. This is frightening, but I think that the plan is going to be moving from here. We have two infantry units. Moving maybe, maybe one in here would be nice to have. Maybe not, maybe actually the engineers here, we'll see. But moving things in here would be nice for 65, 50, yeah, like this. And then attacking these guys here. Because this is the CCA 9th Armored Division, Team Woodstock, so. And I'd also like to surround him, but this one would be nice because I would get a nice concentric attack. I'm not going to hit this one with any really artillery. So I think I can use the card over here, which I will. I will spend it on this one. Do that. Let's see if there's a difference, by the way. It's line of sight 25, that's line of sight 25, so it doesn't really matter. All right, let's go. Now we have 
53, which is, I think, a lot better. So let's fire now. The gray one, the purple one, and the purple one, I think. Yeah. Let's see what they do. We have 162, we have 179, and we have 510. That should be like almost 700. And this one all should be yeah, over 50. Something like this. Yeah. What about this guy here? That's nice. That adds 500. Let me see if I it's up here. I'm not going to need that one either. So let's add that one. And attack. Nice, 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 nice. Look at that. Gone. Almost. There's a truck. That's kind of funny. So, let's see here. I'll use this one. I Well, it doesn't matter really. Let's use this one. All out attack. That's it. And let's move. Now, can I move in there? I'm not gonna take a chance exactly. That's nice. We are in heavy forest snow. They are in fields. I can move there as well. I will. We can fire against these guys, but that's no good. So let's see here. Okay, let's see here then. Hmm. I'm gonna just wait with that. <laughs> but that's not bad at all. I would have liked to be able to go over here, but it is is it's, yeah that's still nice okay so that's it and uh, pretty good here and um, this one needs to move anyway here and uh, the verfus as well they are really they don't have a lot of ammo so let's think about this case over here So we have two infantry units, we have one engineer. I could definitely go with all three here. I can go with these guys as well. But it would make sense to put the engineer going on the road in here just to protect this guy and use the infantry against these guys because we will have some Panzer Shreks. And this only has two, so... This one has seven in... against the Volksgrenadiers, five, so that's something, obviously. I only have 150 there, and they have 240 in each here, so I think that's gonna even things out. I'm gonna go in here, because I need to protect this one. These guys can go in here or here, 45, 60. This one makes more sense. Let's do that. Ouch, can you actually attack here? Yes, you can. Oof. Yeah, that's because they only have 83. Why that is, I'm not sure. Look at that, that's not good. 
I should have switched these ones. Alright. And this one is going this way. And that way. And I'll leave this one. I think. I'm actually surprised that we didn't hit anyone here on the way, actually. Let's see here then what we have here. I don't like these outs at all. One nine, one ten, one thirteen, one twelve. These are terrible outs. So, what am I going to do? go and protect. No. I'm gonna have to hit this guy with, with something. He is in planes, which is good. But the only way to see if you want to, like this one here is 132. I don't know if this is like, if this gives protection. Problem is, it's really difficult to hit armored targets, but I do think we need to. We need something with power like this. Maybe that's gonna help. This one can actually hit as well. That's nice. What do we have here? We have these are quite large ones. 120, 150, 170 against these weak ones. I might have to move this one in here as well, but maybe that's disaster. I think I have to. That's a big risk. Fifty three, though, and everyone will be able to hit this guy. Let's see here then two thousand seventeen hundred. So that would be altogether 5,000 if they are additive, which they are. That's terrific. Now, I also have some others like this one, and that one, and this one. So this is 5,000. Let me just check these guys. That's 129. That's 200. That's 500. 200, yeah, they don't add together. And 500, that's, they add together. Do these add together so that it's 5,700? Nope. Okay, let's just do these first. And see what happens. This, I don't know. Okay, look. It's not fantastic, but to kill off five Shermans is not bad. It really isn't. And let's continue and see what we can get. That's 130. That's 167. All right. Let me just look at this one. That's 200. And this is 130, so it should be three something, so it doesn't add together. What about, let's see here, where is this at? It's a green one, isn't it? It's not to be seen here, it's further up here, isn't it? It's over there. I think we might want to use that for something else. 
because we will have targets, I'm sure. So I'm not going to use that one. But these two for sure. And then the red one. I don't think I should use that one either. So that's 200. And this is 130, isn't it? So should we just use these ones like that first? Give me something, thank you. Ooh, ooh that's not bad at all. Three with mortars. And then we go with this one, last one. Give me something, please. Yes. Something else? No. Stuart. I mean, still. Still, that's not terrible. Let's see if we can get something else then out of this. Okay, we have to re check this one here. Let's see. That's 264. That's really, really poor one. Because you still need to use this one because of the concentric attack. We also need to use something here. That's 959. That's better. That's, that's one to one. I don't like this one bit. What could happen then is I could get hit from this guy and this guy like that. We're standing in light forest. It's not terrible. We are hunkered down. We could just leave it at this. Maybe take this one, make sure that we're safe here. That's what I'm going to do. could surround him, but I don't want to stand in the field. This guy could move back to be in heavy forest rather than light forest. And also in higher ground. It also makes sense. But can't that do that when you have enemies in your back? All right, so that's a problem. So we are in a little bit of a pickle here. This one would make sense to go here, so I can fight too. Which I will. This was also a field, so this makes more sense. one is really like alone. I could not move him anywhere else either. This guy could move here, could move here. Could try and take care of this situation, which I think we sort of have to. Do we do we need to help these guys? Going over here, taking this position, definitely help a lot. Taking Eppeldorf would also cut them off. Let's do that. We'll still have things here. This is going to take some time, however, but this is not a bad place to be at. Now, we have a blown bridge here, which is a problem. Let's wait with this situation here a bit and see where we're going to add up. We actually do have two units here, so maybe it's not a bad thing to go with one unit or two units or three units here and do some damage here. It's a heavy forest as well. I did 
to they are able to reach there. Okay, let's have a look at this one. And also I could use this guy over here just because it's an emergency, we'll see. This is a difficult situation. Okay, I would like to know if there's anyone in the carriage. I also would like to know if there's anyone around here. So it would make sense to go up here. And have a look, that's one thing. Or just keep on piling in here because we still need to take the Kirsch. This one. <coughs> Let me have a look here then. We can. We have some Verfus here, which will decide how to use and everything. It would also be interesting to see if there's anyone in Lippescheid. The only thing we can do pretty much here is just try this out. Because we're not going to be able to add forces around here and to be able to see what's inside. So I can just straight away try to walk in here. Oh, that's lovely. That's so nice to be able to make that. Wow. All right. I could try and take this bridge as well. I mean, 35, 4 should be fine. I don't see anyone here. I mean, <laughs> they could be hiding everywhere, you know. But let's go. Ah, how about this one? They could be somewhere in here. I think I do have to try this one. Ooh, the, what a success. That's a tremendous success. That's a ranged attack. And uh, it's amazing that we actually have things that can fire uh, against this guy here. So that's a heavy mortar unit right there. Wow, that's so nice. We have Eshdorf over here. These guys can not reach. But they can come quite far. And since we have a mortar here, we don't have to worry really about being hit in this city. But rather, we have two units here. I could move both of these units in here. To make see what this is. I'll start with this one. Okay, so we do have a mort unit and we also have a flak unit. Hmm. All right. I think I will just move this one, but I need maybe it's better to spread out because they have more two units here. So, or just go to Schlippescheid. Or I could rush him get in here but I think I will get really tired that's 83 going in here is going to be cost of 40 which you know might be a good thing to do next turn and I stop any unit coming in here as well. I like this. It's not a bad setup, I think. Fields. Fields. Cool. And we have 37, 44. <coughs> and I'm looking at these guys. I have Nebel of Ephesus here. 41s. And there is a road here. So if I could get here. I could really hit these guys over here. That's a move cost of 56. I could go here with 44. And hit the Nibel Verifers on this one. And the other Nibel Verifers. These guys. I think that's what I might want to do. Well, let's not commit. 
because we want to take care of look at this one as well all right this also these 14 let's see here should they go down here and have a look at brandenburg maybe so we've cost of 54 74 here what do i want to go i would like that as well let's see here what if we move do we have Feels so dangerous to walk in here because you you might get hit this guy anyway needs to go down here that's the fastest route down here i guess 30 yeah because of the the rail or, or the road Do we only have 32 we're not going to be able to tell i think we just need to do it. We need to check, basically. I could move this one over here, move cost 20, and then move up that way, maybe to see somewhere. Just do it and then see if we can amass and maybe use these guys oof they don't have it oh that one has some what's that that's an able f42 okay that's not bad but the, this is a city so i'm not going to use these guys anyway we also have this one able to, to drive like that or choose this path uh, this road here that's an awkward Road, it would be nice, but this is also awkward. I could, uh, I could make this drive here. Why doesn't he go like that? Then that's nineteen sixty-two. Makes sense to drive this road rather. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And go and check. This is. Oh, okay. Now that's interesting. So now we have 39. We could move these guys one closer. Doesn't matter. 20, 20. So it would make sense to go this way because we can continue walking like that. And now I have 43. Let's keep on. 46. We're not gonna see anything, I think. Okay. So now we have 49. I think we might want to. What do we want to do with these guys here? Let's see here. I think only the 15th are going to go down here together with the these um, 352s these guys are supposed to go here i think or maybe in here let me have a look hoshide yeah that's what they were supposed to do i think the 13th was supposed to go through hoshide actually but i'm happy they didn't so that's a weird thing we could move up here and go straight like that. See if there's anything there, but I don't think there's anything there. to the action it could be in here but I don't know if there's anything in here I'm gonna try you betcha how about 
this guy, this guy needs to go over here, or I could actually go here. Let's do that. Now we have congestion all of a sudden, but we can still make it. Let's go here. Yes, thank you. Alright, that's a nice place to be at. Okay, so we do have an anti-tank unit. So what I should drive up here with. Try to make. So here, if I go over here, that's 40. And then it is 15 for each. So that's 70, 60. Okay. And then moving up there, we, yeah, like 85-ish, and anyway. Should I use this one just to try? I think so. Yes, excellent. It's so difficult to know. So what do we have here? We do have just a regular one. So I think going up here secure this one first of all is not bad this one is in field snow which is great going up here costs 40 that's 30 but this is really fighting up with this is height one this is height two even this is staying difficult but this is still secure I could move this one. Let's wait with these guys. We'll see where we're going to go. I don't know if anyone is in the Kirsch. Only one to way to find out. I mean, yeah, I could go around there. But that's really to march down this road. Ah, I see here. That's a really weak unit. Which I like. Like hitting this one. Five to one is not bad. Actually, actually two units two weak units nice does that mean that the kish is actually open maybe let's move this guy as well in here no it's not i see we don't know what this is so hitting this one hard makes sense standing up there hitting this one and coming around yeah makes sense let's see here what happens if we go for a regular attack like that like that that's even 16 to 1 now let me think here that would mean that they would end up here which is a good thing because it, there's a road down here right exactly so that's what we're gonna do and uh, yeah like that and they might have damage us but let's just attack Nice. They're almost dead here. We lost 13 men, but uh, that's great. And we will continue up here then. Move cost zero. With move cost zero. And with move cost zero. And now we can hit this guy over here while we think about what's in here. Can we? ranged attack let's see here it's only this one okay so that sucks we can still do a ranged attack against this one because we don't have any it's still a six to one so let's add this one to... not that one can this one participate yes how about that one no nope. like that i'm thinking let's attack might bring me something. Cause two drugs. This one has no howitzers or anything, so that's safe. We need to move with this one over here. We need to see as much we, as we can. This one could move over here. Which wouldn't be a bad idea, but except for that they actually have 49 in strength, then that would mean I would have to move to like one 
unit over here at least. Which is not a bad idea. How about this one then? Yeah. Over here for sure. Okay. And then this one around, I think. Let's move one of these units here. Over here. That's 50, that's 55. This sounds good. Okay. And this one in here. So that I can bring the other one around here. That's what I'm going to do. And also I have these guys. That will move up here. And uh, here. Let's pile in here. It's 228. Let's see what we can do here with the regular attack. Not great. I'm not going to take that chance, I think. So I'm happy with that. For now. I can actually fire against this one. see what we get then we do get stuff here it's not going to participate there you go no and this one no something i'll get a truck or two let's attack yep got a truck and maybe just wasted ammo i don't know okay so that's it we also have this one of course I don't need to go for this one now, but it might be nice. We have recon of 61, but this one is maybe more important. Yeah, this is a bigger threat to us. This one can be used over here, like that, that's something. What else do I have? Let's do that. I also have these ones. Look at that. And they are actually three of them. But they should move one forward because they do have these ones that have a range of four. So let's move all of this one, this whole stack as a group. Like that first. And then fire it against these guys. Like that, like that, like that. And do we want to add this one? No. Let's start with this one. That is very nice. All right. So I'm like, I shouldn't really have this one here. Now I can actually make the regular attack here. Actually, I could use like that. So that's good. I can still make that. Okay, good. Let's see here. They have like almost none left here. This one can also attack here, although yeah, and he will die. What about this guy here hitting only this one? He will probably die, so maybe I can fire against some other things here. That's 50, that's not bad. These Werfers could go for these guys then. I love this game so much in the sense that it's like a puzzle and you'd really need to solve it. This one should really go for this one or that one. It makes sense to go for. But you could go for that one, go over here, and then maybe attack is this one. Let's see. Movement point 35, and I have 54. That wouldn't leave anything to this one, no. So, just go for this one then. And then go that one afterwards. I think so. Or, right? 
yeah this is more important what i can hit this one right let's see what we what do we actually have here that's our tiller here we have this one range five then we have some big guns here range only two oh yeah and this one range 10 but it's only one of them right so it's really being within five one two three four five so let's go for this one and attack yeah so we only have four bazookas and two trucks left i like that a lot so that's good that's fantastic these guys can move to the front like that and i don't think i have to worry because we're in a mist that that's fast when it comes to horses and then let's switch these guys like that actually these guys are 14 so they should actually have moved up there oh well doesn't matter it's not that important we'll just switch then these are the 13th they can move like that that's 55 is this the fastest Way. I guess so. But we're gonna go up here anyway, so let's do that then. We're in the same situation, we need to be within five. So let's do that. And then we'll do. Oh, let's wait with that. This guy has a range of 10, and he's got these has a range of five so he likes being within five if possible which is something he can do Let's see do these guys have any artillery with them Let's see here we have both 14 and 50 moving here this guy should really move over here then and this one may be in the middle like that but it's too far away anyway maybe over here and then meet each other all right i'm not going to commit this one for now i have 11 of these ones so these ones are the major punch anyway these are the ones i would like to use to hit this one 42s and we have 41s. The 41s. Let's see here which ones are. So they both have 95. This one has more. That's the 42s. And it would make sense for me to use the 42s on this one. But 41s would require me moving. No, 41s on this one, of course. So that would be this x here that's four and this guy here also here I could move just one but i want to move two to be able to hit this one like that 2000 and the other one like that with that Oof. i'm gonna go for this one first of all Oh, I should have used. Of course, I should have used recon card. I. Why didn't I? Well, I got rid of some mortars. I had a recon thirty-seven. That's terrible. Let's see here. I do want to use this one here, right? Let's go for a recon, don't we? Do we want to? No, we're just going to make an attack there and there's nothing else here. Oof, that was terrible. Let's do that. Recon card. You know, it's so much to think about as well. So let's go for this one. And we still have one left to go for. So there are actually 10. We have now 70, which is fantastic. And 63. You know, that's a big difference. And... Wait, 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 we have another one. I didn't know we had three. That makes 
it's very nice and these are 42s so let's see here this one I'm supposed to hit that one and I can use this one move one and hit that one look at that see a lot better result and he was like almost empty anyway here I have two units so I'll use this guy over here and see what happens that's quite nice as well only one more true however all right that's not terrible Not fantastic either, but I can fire if I wanted to. But I'm not going to waste my ammo on this one because it, I, I'm going to get hurt. I do have this one though that can hit this one. So that's interesting. Let's do that. Let's see. That's 112. That's not great. Okay, it's this one. Which I might want to use somewhere else. We'll see. And I have this one that I haven't really moved or used that I need to use somewhere. I could use him here, 141. Also have this one I can see that I cannot use anywhere else but here. This one could use be used over there. Yeah, we saw that. Okay, let's see here. This one would make sense to hit this one for sure then all out attack. Ooh, almost I didn't make it. And let's go. And this one over here. And all out attack. Really? Didn't lose anything, but I got one tractor and then nothing else. I see attack with this one maybe <laughs> I can use stuff like that which I don't want to I can use this one can't hit with no let's do that then let's just use it it's just a round anyway that's it uh, we'll take him next time this one we have 46 it's not fantastic this one we might actually want to hit with these guys here because we do have 50 which is not bad and I think we've used a card here no we haven't actually so let's do that then this one has line of sight 25 25 25 so it's the same thing here no it doesn't matter who actually gets the card well actually this one would make sense because we want to have eyes here let's do that don't see anything in here or not it's better that's slightly better so let's fire against this one here and let's see what we can fire with these two on that's 143 that's 500 that's worse okay so this one then let me have a look one last look That's a recon of 52, that's a recon of 53. These are more vulnerable, so I'm gonna go for this one because they are not armored units. Let's go. Not 
really great. I mean, it's nice to get some half tracks, I guess, but I really wanted the engineers there. Oh, well, just checking this out here. That's decent now, but um, not what we wanted. What's the range of this guy here? That's 12, which is not bad. Um, but might want to move this one forward anyway. But where do I want to go? I think these guys so many that they will push through here. This is um, slightly more difficult, I think. Far. I could go in here. I don't need to expose myself, but I don't in the mist. So this would make sense. Let's do this. And so I will have lots and lots of opportunities to hit things from here in the next turn, which is nice. This guy definitely needs to go in here in the middle. And uh, what do we have? We have this one that can move or fire. Let's see what kind of we have that one have that one. No, I think this one really needs to move closer. We have this one with range 10 and these are five. So we have five of them, 11 of these ones. So this is more of getting closer. And uh, maybe move this one up here then. Yeah, I think so. This is going to get clogged up, isn't it? Maybe not necessarily. Let's go for that. And this one can also move, but I think I've moved this one definitely enough. So I'm going to go like that. And now I can hit some of these. Let's wait with that one and see what's going to happen here. And so on. Okay, so I'm, I'm pretty much done with this one here. We have this one, of course. So let's see what we, if we have something where we could go to. We could go up here. Let's do that. So we're closer. So it's really going into the cage next time. Just look at this one. That seems like it's a four to one, which it might be. But then again, I think we'll use all of them pushing through next turn. And uh, this is a nice position to be at. Anyway, we have this one also. I really want to go this way, actually. So. Do I want to try and go for Eppeldorf? Let's have a look at supply here. So he's in supply because of this one. It's not going to be supply in any other, well, maybe through here, but not if I get to Eppeldorf. That's a nice thing. And the same thing with this one sort of the same thing with this one, not this one though, right? No. But Eppeldorf is really, really nice to be able to go to. Also, this one is not a bad place either, since I'm not going to see what it is that's in there. And this is like the only way to fight against this one with these guys. I think they 
that I am in a fairly good defensive position enough that if they hit me here, they're going to pay. So I think I'm going to go for Eppeldorf. So I'm going to do that one step at a time. Have a look at this one. In, there could be somewhere, someone there. Ouch, there is. Well, it didn't get hurt though, so that's nice. But this is a problem, of course. So let's look at the supply again. So it does get through here due to this one. Maybe it's going to stop here, but I don't think so. And I'm sort of exposed, but this one is a rather strong unit anyway. Okay, I didn't lose anything at least, so that's not bad. But this is a, um, this is a fight. Maybe I need these guys actually, but uh, being able to like take Medernacht, for example, and that would be nice. Cut these guys off completely. All right. That's it. There's nothing I can do here anymore. I think I haven't relied on anything else. I do have something here. And these ones are have been used. But what about this guy here? I could hit this one here. Let's just check one, two, three, four, five. That's not great. So can I? I'm so far away. I could move like over here. But then again. Yeah, I do have to rush this one, I think. Let's do that. Over here. There we go. And then maybe off let's see one two three four five those still and i have these ones to be able to target but i can leave it as is right now and nothing in here we're all done with this one yeah okay good let's see here we're going to move up here then so we are going to now start looking at 26 volks, volks grenadiers we do have some others in here, but I think if I am not incorrect here, this is the really poor engineering unit. So it would totally make sense to go for an attack here, I think. Maybe probe first to see what it is. Let's just look at this one here. Like that. Just go for it. I mean, if it's something strong, he'll, he should also get hurt. Let's do it. Fine. I didn't get uh, hit that much. He lost lots of engineers and things, but he also retreated. So this is a complete success. Very nice. Move cost is zero. Oh, I like that sound. Move cost is zero here. Nice. And then he's in planes and I will attack, obviously. I can. Let's see here. We do have some here that can do that. Like that one. Like that one. 25, 30. This should be an all out attack. Ah, oh, there are actually two units there. Let's go. I was hoping for better result, but. It's all right, half of them went. They're pushed back even further. Okay, not terrible. 
I am not going to pursue here. Because it's just woods here. Rather, I'm going to go in words here. Let's see here. Let's do that. Let's see, that's 97. Why does it cost so much? It's because it's going in here. It's going down the slope and into city, probably. That's why. Uh, let's go. And also, there was maybe some congestion. Ouch. It's so difficult to know what's coming up, you know? Alright. I could go over here. But... That's maybe kind of nice. Let's do that. And the engineer is going down here. All right. These ones can, you know, stay. That's heavy woods. This one would be nice to fire. Let's wait with that. Wait. Using that one. Now, here is costume. And I definitely know I'm going to sacrifice this guy. Mm-hmm. So now we don't know what this is. I could attack here. Just take a look at it with using probe attack. Let's go. Mm -hmm, good. So we have less entrenchment. We have an A. This one looks like a flak. Indeed it is. This one we should be able to run out of town. So let's go. Let's go. That should be enough to exactly. There you go. Let's attack. And all out attack maybe. Yeah, that's 41 even though it's a town. Let's go what I'm saying that's what I'm saying and movement cost zero fantastic and then hit him again and all out attack that's what I'm saying and this one maybe move up here or just keep this one like that yeah, we need to do that. And then they can continue. I see. This one couldn't move in any further. Okay. This is going so well, I feel. Okay, we have Falua. What should he do? Go this way then, maybe. I would like to bring this one with me, actually. But this one, of course, is what we need to use. Okay, good. So, this one goes all the way there, and this one slightly longer. So, I'm going to use this one. Okay, taking that town is fantastic. Oof. So juicy. And Falua, oh, dirt roads, unfortunately. We're gonna try and go here. Yes, fantastic. Oof. So nice. I'm, I'm slicing through butter with the hot knife, I feel. And uh, here we could put this one. Or we could go down here. Let's see here. Yeah, I think so. That's a nice ridge also, although it's planes. Height one, height one. That's height zero, so. Would 
make sense to go here. Also to avoid the dirt road. Exactly. Nice. Nice counter. And this guy is... Where are you going to go then? Probably onto this one. Well, we're going to drive these guys in here first. some force these poor guys let's go here as well and they can be like a first troop okay and this guy as well and what about these well, these are their light forest Maybe I should. I'm thinking about going, using these ones to go like quite fast to march. But no, I'll use that one like that because I think that it doesn't spend as much readiness, which it does if you march them. This one we have a number of troops here and up here as well so I don't want to get too far away so this would make sense okay this one can reach over here but again let's have a look it's got a range of 10 11 and 12 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So let's just look at this result, which is not terrible, but going just one is going to be even better. That's in forest, so what's this? That's in plains. Recon is only 38. So the question is, this is such a big congestion also, I will just use it on this one, I think. I can also reach that guy. That's in the city, but that's so poorly. Let's go for this one and attack. That's quite good, actually. One howitzer, and the uh, the redness went down, which is nice. Okay, good. Now these guys can definitely uh, march. That's what they are going to do, for sure. But then again, where to? I think it's so difficult to march these guys. Maybe go this way and go up here. Where are these guys going to go? I think this way would make sense. So it would make sense to go this way anyway. I feel. Although there's congestion there. All right. These ones then should really go here towards Drofeld. Do that. Go. That looks nice. This is such a frightening force. All right. This looks fantastic, really. An interesting thing here is that we've been able to penetrate over here and this is X10580 or on the 105 column right here. And we're almost as close. We're gonna 
get further ahead of course with uh, the two the second panzer but uh, it's nice we are at six o'clock in the morning so um yeah and we're not having a lot of uh, like heavy hitters here which i like of course because i like it okay so this is going to be a very important thing to think about obviously so one thing we could do is we could go in here and hit this one hard we can also go we have a recon of 54 so it would make sense though we might actually wreck the bridge with the artillery which we don't want to do so let's see what kind of things we could use yeah i'd say that's too dangerous because i would like to use the bridge to get across here so this is a 56 which is quite good we don't need a good recon as far as i understand to hit these ones it's just good to know but if i'm not remembering wrong here i think these were like jaggers what are they called um i don't know uh, but uh, nothing too frightening at least so i think we can make it with these guys and let's have a look so we have different combinations let's see what we can do here is a uh, 1400 and that's at 1100 that is an 1100 and that's an 900 and this one is only a 200 so okay so this was an 1100 1400 here and 1100 was this one so if for that's a 14 that was a 1100 that was 1100 that was 900 okay 14 and 11 that's nice additive there we also get the plus 10 there because that's that's what's happening of course i should take a look at this one really but anyway well this one is what matters also so that's a 4 to 1 already which is good what if i add this one here because of this i don't get a full effect there and the same thing goes there what about this same thing there so really just attacking with these ones is the optimal one i think 2898 let's see if we can go for this combination but that's a five to one actually because of so let's start with these guys then what would have happened if i add that one six to one and what about if i add that one no all right so i'm thinking still just go five to one and then use these ones in the next attack if needed let's go So many troops, and I lost so many troops here. Veterans, GI veterans. That hurt. I should really have probed. And of course, they were dug in as well. Ouch, that hurts a lot. Okay, so the idea here was to use these guys here but we can see already here that they are too strong so the only thing we can do now is to fire against these guys and eliminate them as much as we can though they are in a city which is a problem let's see that's 58 72 51, 
60, 69, 91, 104. Then we have some Verfus. Look at that, it's terrible. And they are out of ammo also. Okay, let me take a look here then. They are all in here, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. So. What do we do, actually? It feels like we can't do anything about this one. Let's wait a little bit with that anyway then. So let's start with these guys here. I want to do that first and then sneak in here and see what we can actually see. Here we can see nothing. Maybe they have something here. Yes, they do. But they lost a jumbo. We did not lose anything, which is nice. Good. And our oh, felt it's 52. So this is the, we need tanks here. Sure. So let's bring him. We can safely drive this one here without getting hit. Let's move here first. Then see that road would make sense, right? Let's go here first. Then turn this one off. 40. Not gonna be able to use it this turn though, right? Yeah, actually. Okay, so it's a regular attack of supposedly 7 to 1. However, I don't know exactly what they are. I know it's a rather strong... I'm not going to say to make the same mistake. I will maybe fire against this one rather. But that's only 85. So I think I'll just stay here with these two. That's what I'm going to do. That is what I'm going to do. We have Panzerjägers as well here. They can do the same thing there. We do want to go here. Switch. And go down there. We have Flak, which we might also want to use in an off offensive way. Over here, switch and down. Oof, look at that. That's a dead road, of course. This one can hardly even go here. So I should go and look up here. Okay. Right, so what do we have here? We have 55. <laughs> We have some Verfus here that almost have no ammunition. Could fire against this one. This one looks smashing, of course. And I think I need to do this one. Since this is such a good opportunity. This is the only Werfer that's able to hit this one. Let's have a look at some others then. Here we go. That's nice. That's also nice. And I can also use these ones. But how about that? They can't see us. We can see them. We have recon points. Only 38 though. But this is quite nice, I think. Where are they located? 130. Further, further back, right? Yeah, exactly. But let's go for this one. Then. Not 
fantastic, I have to say. But it has to do so much with recon there. That's total waste, but it feels like it's better to use these ones since they have full ammo. It's much more difficult with the Verfus. This guy, for example, can also do pretty much the same thing. And this one as well. So let's fire these guys. That's 51. I'm going to try something. If I switch here, does that change? Still 51. Okay, so it switches automatically when you fire. That's good to know. How about these guys? And this one. Together, 6 to 1. That's not bad. I want these howitzers gone. One. All right. All right. All right. And question is, should I fire now? Maybe against this one would be make sense. Maybe get a better visual on this one. Maybe they are not gonna get enough of supply though if I I think I should get it from this direction somehow for now at least can I get like a trashy kind of unit moving here maybe this one it's fields over here though which is a problem it would have to be a rather strong one in that case how about this one then would cost me 84 I don't want to lose this one either this one might be no engineers against engineers this one can't reach that no I'm gonna let it go let's see if we can advance here and let me see if I can find Yes, this one, this one maybe go this direction over here, but I could also use this one. I do have an artillery unit somewhere here. Okay. So this is difficult to know if this is an artillery. I will probe this one only. Which was the right thing to do. It's a flak unit. Okay. And that's interesting. So if we could get a heavy hitter up there, we could eliminate them. But it's a little bit way off. Maybe these are actually enough. Not now, but later on, I think so. Maybe bring this one as well up here. Maybe from this side. Let's do that. But still, the artillery unit is not here. So where did he go? Well, they do have... Oh, here he went, I think, maybe. That's nice. So, let's go with this guy over here, then. So, let's see here. Maybe we can sneak past him here without him. No. So, that's an engineering unit. Ranged attack. No. Regular attack. Four to one, I like that. Bring in some more. I don't know what we're going to use. Maybe Stugs. Let's see what this one gives. 7 to 1 and 15 to 1. I like those odds. Just a regular attack. Knock him off, off the road. Yeah, exactly what happened. Which is nice can keep on driving or we can 
push the attack here. Let's, uh, let's see here. If you are like, that's 29 because I don't think we will be able to. We can maybe fire. That's 50%. Yeah, that might be something. Let's do that then. Well, he couldn't actually do that, so let's go here. And ranged attack, 110 against nothing. Let's go. Got something. That's not bad. And uh, let's uh, keep on peeking here. But let's use this one first. Ooh, that's nice. So we can do the same thing with this one. But I think we'll just stay there for a while. Uh, this guy here. See, that's a dirt road. Where do you want to go? What about this one? It's so, so small roads, really. And also you're like destroying any kind of transportation points as well. So let's go this way. Uh, I mean, like, um, yeah. All right, we're doing good still. This one can go quite far. But then again, it's a problem of congestion. Let's go there. All right, we do have so we have a house as well. Let's see, what are you going to do? You're supposed to move down here, but you don't get very far. We could go cross country, but we could do the same. Oof, we're not going to be able to move here either. That's a hassle. That's a problem. It really, really is. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I want supply to be able to flow, but that's not going to happen in this way. And there's like, I have to go this way. I could maybe go down that way and go cross country, but it's not nice. That's, I mean, I really need to go this way then. Oh, terrible. And uh, this one, I guess. <laughs> And I have to go something like this. I don't know. Or that. Yeah, I could take the rail. Could cross there and then maybe cross over there. Let's, yeah, let's see here. If you go over here, 67 and then. No, that's 100 and something. But bang, bang, bang. Don't like that one bit. No, it's going to go this way. Cross country. All right. We have this situation over here. We don't know what it is. And just looking at like this, ho ho, it sound, it looks fantastic. And yeah, it is, but because nothing can withstand this. That's one thing. But I might not have to go for all this. So what about this? We do that and we probe first. We could also go recon in force. But I want to probe rather. Uh... Yeah, let's do that. I don't know what's in here. So, And it seems like I did the right thing thing there because there were so many many there okay so this is murphy and let's then have a look that's five to one that's 24 to one and that's 37 something like that that's not bad and 
this is what we're gonna have to do. Let's attack. Killed. So nice. And I lost like nothing. Amazing. All right. I'm very happy with that. That one over there. And then we go this way. We're gonna have to go around here because of the congestion anyway. So let's examine here. I think these are these are uh, these are well, there are actually two of them, but one of them is a, a, a tank unit. Exactly. Oof. Let's go here as well. We could go here, but let's see. That's going to cost thirty-four. That's twenty. This one will cost 45. Okay, so these guys are in the open. From here, you could either fire, which as a ranged attack is not terrible, but it's not good. But let's just look at these guys here 4 to 1 and 5 to 1. And that is because. If we look at the Panthers, they actually deliver 75%, which is darn good. If we were to attack these guys, we have a 4 to 1, which is not bad. But since we have also these guys, we would like to decimate them. We have a 41 recon, it's not great. So, what do we do then? We use a card here, maybe even. Of course we do. We play a card. And then we bombard them. 65 is a lot better. We use these guys. That's all right. That's better. And that's best. We also have some others here, which might be of interest, but let's go start with these guys first. Now that's strange. See, we only here have armored units, and of course they're not going to make any damage. But there are other units in here as well. Why don't they get hit? I don't understand that. So, okay. Well, that sucks. I'm gonna fire against these guys, I think, with Making a ranged attack then like that, three to one. Because now I see it better better also. And also let's see here, that's where we waste. Let's go for this one then. Something it's a rather big tank unit. That's one panther. Okay. Should I bring this one over here because this one is going to be difficult anyway to, to do anything about, I think. I think that would be wise. And, um, bring this one into the fight here. Right then, we do have one more unit here, but it's a range of 10, so this one has to move like in here. So that it can fight. 
fire next round. Right. right. This is not bad at all. That's good job. Got good work done. This one is going to be solved soon. This is also a temporary problem. So no worries there. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that's it. I think this is a good place to stop at. Because we are getting closer to two hours now. So, uh, yeah. It looks nice. Um, we have uh, definitely made a lot of progress. I am very, very happy about this penetration over here and this penetration over here. This is nice. This is nice. This is a bit troublesome. This mess here is not so nice. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. And yeah, this is not bad either. Four units over here. And um, they should be able to do stuff here. And uh, what else we have? Yeah, we've made some progress in here as well. So we're definitely doing good. This is a big unit here. Total stack of 508 with no flax whatsoever. Is that correct? No, this one actually has flak, but that's about it. Actually, I think also this one might have some flak, right? Exactly. So we do have some flak around here. Well, and um, the Falsham Jaegers are moving towards these ones that are rather weak. This should be resolved next turn, a little bit at least. And this is the, uh, like a main problem, but does have help here. But we'll see. And uh, yeah, let's have a look at supply then enemy sources here see what what it says here so these are reachable unfortunately but uh, this one is in uh, this one is not reachable which is nice this one neither this one has a problem but that's all there is and yeah, these guys have problem. It's interesting how you how we can actually see their problem of calculating that. But um, yeah, this road is like ours somehow, probably, and uh, because we can see it and they can't, I guess. This one seems to be isolated a bit. Yeah, it's reachable actually. And uh, this one here is reachable. Although with difficulty, I think. These guys have a tough time. Oh, they reached through here somehow. Yeah, but that's not easy. Okay. This one, I could actually do something with these guys here. Let's see here kind of move I can make. Let's go over here. Forget about this one, maybe. Makes sense. Maybe put this one also. Because it is kind of far behind. Yeah, let's put this one come uh, or in drive like that and continue driving like that next turn. Okay. So making our way forward anyway. And uh, then we'll, we will continue with these guys uh, in the next episode. But it's nice we can take this um, Troy's Verge quite soon if they don't get, get reinforcements soon enough. So we are hammering things, I think. Well, that's it, I think. And um, yeah, again, thank you for watching.